Verse 5 says, For they have consulted together with one consent. They are confederate against thee. And so just like we saw in Psalm 2, the whole world united in confederacy against the Lord and against his anointed, saying, let us break their bands asunder and cast away their cords from us. Let us not have to hear the word. Let us not have to see the word. Let's not, let's cast away the Lord from our remembrance. Even so, it plays out here in this passage of scriptures. There will be one government. We've seen it. There will be one monetary system. We've seen it. We can see the foundations of these things coming to be. Where paper money no longer exists or has value in the same way. We see governments more and more shaking hands and agreeing on things where they never would before. And those two aspects of the Antichrist beast system make sense. But what about this one, the third tier, which is one world religion? I mean, ten years ago you wouldn't even fathom this. That, that, that you know... Jews and, Israel, uh, and, and Islam would shake hands, that Catholics would be getting along with, with everybody, that all these religions are gradually blurring their lines and becoming one. That's why I keep preaching people at the door, there's only two religions, you've got to pick which one you want to be a part of. Either you're a Bible-believing Christian, saved by the blood of the crucified one, and born again by the Spirit of God, or you're every other one. There's only two. You've got to pick, right? You've got to believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, or just fall into the mush of it all. And do you know who else falls into that mush? Atheists. How about this? Pan, pantheists. How about agnostics? How about all of the, I have these varying different degrees of what I believe about God. Basically just setting up God in their own image. But I witnessed it this week, and actually our church found its place on a list of people that need to be blackballed, that need to have their, 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 their social media taken out, that have to be, we found our church on this big long list and it was atheists agreeing with pantheists agreeing with agnostics all coming together under one banner that is intolerant of intolerance. <laughs> Completely intolerant of intolerance. Trying to silence any opposing and biblical view. They have united to destroy us and they think that it's, they're going to do it you know, by, by banishing our, our uh, what's that thing? <clears throat> our means of getting money or whatever, PayPal. <clears throat> then they're going to take away our PayPal. It's not even hooked up to anything. I got an account, that's it. <laughs> We're not going to be destroyed if you take away our ways of getting money from online. They think, though, that whatever we're running here is some sort of billion dollar conglomerate. It's insanity. We have, we have the Bible and we have some ratty suits and we got men and women that love souls and want to see them saved. We don't have much here, do we? we we've got a rented space. We've got, we've got old hymn books. Right? We, we've got wonderful snacks. That's probably one of the best things that we get week to week, right? The provision of snacks. We don't have a lot here. They think they're going to destroy us by taking away an opportunity to receive money online. It's, it's foolishness because we are crying day and night, keep not thou silence, O Lord. Silence us. Hey, you fagnostics Gnostics, and Gathias, get together. Enjoy your company. Have a united front where you just want to fight against us. I could care less. All you're doing is proving the Bible to be true. Amen. Where I wouldn't believe it before, now I'm seeing a bunch of people that have varying worldviews that would never get along in a debate, would never see eye to eye, are united on one front that they hate Christians. If we just have a common enemy, then who gives a rip about the rest? And that's what they're doing. They are uniting under the banner of tolerance, and they're completely intolerant of our ideals. Verse 6 